Hi, this is Grandma Lori. Today's story is Escaping the Earth, Part 1. If I just change this rotor out, I think I can get it running, said Leo. He was ten years old and a genius engineer. Just hurry, Maya said. We need to get out of here. Maya was twelve, a tech whiz, and the leader of the group. Four kids had snuck into the space dock to find the Stardust, a broken-down spaceship Maya's dad had told her about. It ran on biofuel, meaning it could run on plants and compost. Leo was trying to get the engine running. Earth was a mess. Climate change had caused the entire Earth to be uninhabitable. The adults just didn't realize it. Got it, cried Leo. We're set to go. Maya looked at her team, which included Leo, Alex, the team's botanist, age 13, and Anya, age 11, the best diplomat there was, even among the adults. She could negotiate anything and always made others feel comfortable. The engines roared to life. Hurry, said Maya. Get to your stations and let's go before anybody finds us. The team scurried to their seats, buckled their seatbelts, and looked at Maya, sitting in the captain's chair. Leo, let's blast, she said. Leo nodded his head, hit the button in front of him, and they were off. The ship sputtered and spit a bit before leaving the space dock. It had been a long time since it last flew. What's our heading? asked Anya. She doubled as the ship's navigator. Let's go toward the big star there, Maya said, pointing to a bright star in the sky. It doesn't look too far from here. Aye, Captain, Anya said, smiling. Everyone laughed. As they flew toward the star, the team went to their respective stations aboard the ship. The most important task was for Alex to get into his bio lab. He was in charge of creating the fuel they'd need to keep flying. As he entered his lab, Alex was confronted by nothing. Earth had been so damaged there wasn't much in the way of plant material available. The ship was mostly powered by compost. Oh well, Alex said to himself, we'll eat and create compost so we should be fine. Anya looked around the sky. Suddenly, an asteroid appeared, and it was headed straight for the stardust. Captain, an asteroid is headed this way, Anya said, panic in her voice. Just then, the asteroid clipped the stardust, sending it spinning. Red alert, yelled Maya. Everyone else made their way to the deck. What happened, asked Alex, barely able to hold his footing. We were hit by an asteroid, said Maya. When the ship stopped spinning, they looked around space and found they were close to a planet. They'd better stop there to see about repairs. The planet had a space dock above it, so they headed there. Greetings, said Maya to the space dock. We were hit by an asteroid and need to make repairs. May we dock? The universal translator cackled, and a faint voice said, Be our guest. The stardust settled into the space dock. The team exited the ship. Alex immediately set about inspecting the damage. May we help? asked a creaky voice. The badges the kids wore included a universal translator, so they could understand anyone. Yes, please, said Anya. Our ship was damaged by an asteroid. We're not sure how much damage we have. Would you please help our engineer figure it out? Certainly, said the alien. I'm Kit. Hello, Kit. I'm Anya. This is our Captain Maya, our botanist Alex, and our engineer Leo. Leo and Kit proceeded to inspect the ship. Other aliens arrived to give the rest a tour. To be continued. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the story. This is the first part of several, so make sure to like and subscribe and follow in order to be alerted when the next episode appears. Thank you.